Salvarola and the architects. The eternal city of Brevain lay safely behind its barrier for a thousand years. The city is looking particularly lovely today. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Salvarola? Do you wonder what is beyond the barrier that protects the city? No, I do not. And I don't like what you are insinuating. Help! Someone please banish this strange man! Salvarola was banished from the city and forced to wander the plain-touched lands beyond its borders. Oh, by the six great houses! What is that fantastical creature? I'm a dog! Woo-wee! Such one is out here beyond the barrier! Everyone in Bervain should experience this before I kill them horribly! There he was contacted by the Queen of Tyranny. Ooh, look at tomb! I'm gonna touch all the skeletons because there are no rules in the wasteland! <laughs> Salvarola, I can offer you the power of a dragon. All you would have to do is destroy your home city for me. It's my lucky day. Salvarola returned to the city, but he couldn't merely turn off the barrier. So powerful was the Empyrean core. I've tried flipping this one switch. Now I'm all out of ideas. Hey, guy, you can't just turn off the barrier, but you can move it. Really? To where? Oh, I, I don't know, uh, maybe a nice northern province. One rich with moats of draconic power that can be used for an apocalyptic plan. Plain touched wilds? No, gods no, not there. No one wants to go there. Dendro, just put, put, it, put it around the dendro. Ah, there we go. I've moved the barrier that protected the eternal city around the dendro. Are you going to be okay sealed inside where no one can stop you? We will thrive. And so the eternal city of Brevain fell, and all its people were either killed, mutated, or went into hiding. Well, Papa will be frightfully upset when he finds out about this. And the dungeon was devoured by the architects until Atrophinius founded Hylaw here. But that is a story for another day.